Hello again! In this video, I'm going to build a secret German World War II project of a 128mm Flak 40 Zwilling anti aircraft gun attached to the Panzerkampfwagen E100 chassis. Although this combination is pure fantasy, both the gun and super heavy tank chassis were real. German super heavy tank design E100 was developed toward the end of World War II but it was only partially completed and never finished. On the other hand, Flak 40 AA gun was rarely used in combat. Although it was not produced in the great numbers, it was one of the most effective heavy AA guns of its era. During the war, the gun itself was installed primarily in static positions, mainly on Flak towers called Flakturm. There were four twin mounts on the fortified anti-aircraft zoo tower in Berlin but there were also on other flak towers protecting Hamburg and Vienna. Flakturm in Berlin was demolished. So today you can visit only the zoo itself. It is very nice by the way. However, flak towers in Vienna are still standing. Especially awesome are towers located in Wiener Aufgarten in district Leopoldstadt. Now you can imagine how crazy it is to mount this huge dual AA gun on the super heavy tank chassis. Ok then, back to model. The kit in 1 to 72 scale is manufactured by Model Collect. As you can see the box is overflowing with the plastic. Very beautiful are tank tracks. They are made from rubber and packaged in separate plastic box, so they can be twisted before unpacking. This is a perfect idea and it is a small plus for Model Collect. I glue the plastic parts together with very thin cement. I simply pour the glue into the joints. I also use super glue for metal parts and Revel Contacta glue for small plastic parts. Don't forget to clean the molding lines. The construction itself is a quite complicated and requires a bit of patience. The gun barrels are molded from two individual pieces, so it is necessary to use some putty to fill the joints. There is a molding line between the teeth, so I remove it with a sharp metal file. I forgot to mention what kind of party I was using. This is a Tamiya white party. I make several small adjustments to the model. The footboards are made from plastic and even if they are molded with a mesh texture, I decided to improve them. I use this soft metal mesh. This construction is quite straightforward and the result is much better. I kept only the frame from the plastic sprue. The party on the guns is dry, so I sand it with smooth sandpaper. I use one with 500 grit size and softer. Mm. 
I unify Flak 40 colors with a gray Mr. Color Surfacer 1000. This Surfacer has excellent coverage properties and it works as a primer too. It can be easily sanded if you find some imperfections on the model. I decided that the tanks will look as if it was just finished in hurry and there was no time for paint it properly. Therefore I paint the chassis with a rust metal color and add some construction markings. In contrast to this I imagine that the Flak 40 gun were unmounted from Flak Turm and retached on the tank chassis. I spray the second layer, but this time is a black one. Shading will be easier on the black coat compared to the grey primer. Now the turn tracks. I paint them with a steel metallic color and then I spray them with a rust enamel color. Since the single coat is boring I apply dry pigments and I use different shades of rust. It will not look so uniform. I don't like having dirty fingers from rust pigments anytime you touch the model, so I rather seal the pigments with a pigment fixer. Next I paint E100 chassis with a rust acrylic colors. I don't have rust shades, so I simply mix them from brown, red and yellow colors. You often ask me for exact color ratios and how much thinner I use to get the precise color shades. I simply do not know. I just put a few drops of one color and see how it looks. I spray the gun with acrylic panzer grey. Here you can see the advantage of the black primer. I immediately create the basic shading. I highlight the upper side by spraying it with grey color more intensively than the bottom part. Now 
And now I add lighter highlights with a light grey color. In the end, I spray the model with a clear varnish. This is a silver polishing color for brushes made by Agama. I apply it with a cotton swab. Look at this result, it looks like a real steel. In the next step, I apply animal washes. I use dark grey and black shade. Tracks are made from rubber, so attaching them to the model is quite easy. The only important thing is to use high quality super glue. The Loctite Super Attack proved to be quite useful for it. The chassis looks very boring, so I try to add more shades of rust. I imitate the stainless steel welding lines and scratches with an ordinary pencil. There is still something missing, therefore I add few labels, it is made up model so you can paint anything what you want.
I add some weathering effects by applying oil paints and editing scratches with acrylic colors. And here is the Beast Unchained and finished. Oh, and I glimpsed to other crazy projects made by Model Collect. So it will be fun to make more of them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.